Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Colcom's Daily Minutes podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Lara. Okay. So right now we're filming at the Colcom Sinchon branch, but there's over 16 branches throughout South Korea. As well, Colcom is one of the oldest language and cultural exchange cafes in Korea. It's been around for over 16 years. And what actually happens, people don't just work on their speaking and their English skills here, but they meet up and they exchange not just uh, conversations, but also their cultural and opinions. Um, how they do this is actually there's usually a topic given for every group and these are questions to you know break the ice and make the conversation easier for everyone. Yeah. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some of the questions. Okay. Awesome. So what's our topic, Laura? So today we're talking about the pandemic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's uh, I think it's over. I, I'm going to say I'm glad I, it's over. It's not like it was before at all. So yeah. Thank gosh. Yeah. <laughs> So the first question is, have you ever caught the coronavirus? Mm -hmm. And if you have, share your experience. Now, I think I'm a unicorn in a sense. Uh, uh, I know everyone caught it except me. I'm the same. Yeah. Everyone I know has caught it. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I might, the, the, I think the closest I got, like I, when I got the third, the booster shot, mm -hmm. Um, I then I had like the symptoms from the booster shot and then Ooh. two days later I got a, a text message like going oh over the uh, on Monday this is now Friday on Monday you're around someone that uh, had COVID please go and get yourself, get yourself tested oh and then, but I'm like going uh, I didn't bother getting myself tested because I was feeling sick I'm like going, I'm already going to isolate myself for 24 hours yeah so I don't know if I had it or if I didn't have it because I, I, the symptoms I was feeling were from the booster shot. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's hard to tell. Oh, my yeah. God. But well, you kind of experienced it then. Yeah. But. Well, yeah, I experienced it, but I don't think I caught it. Yeah. And I had it test. I tested a lot. Yeah. Cause for acting? I, for acting. Mm -hmm. every, for every shoot. Yeah. I had, for, I had to be tested. So yeah, I was. Times. Yeah, about five times a month. Every week I was getting my nose swabbed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, but no, I haven't caught it. So I'm very happy. And everyone mm. I know did. So mm -hmm. I'm, I don't know how this happened. And I'm not, I wasn't, I don't think I was like, I wasn't isolating myself yeah. like or anything. So mm -hmm. I just think it was, it was luck. And hopefully my body's just like, right. No, thank you. Yeah. There, there's all these reasons why people weren't catching it. I think it's just, uh, I drank a lot of beer during the time. So I was just sanitizing, <laughs> cleaning my mouth out. <laughs> Uh, number two, what is the symptom of coronavirus? What are the symptoms of coronavirus? Uh, what's the worst side effect I uh, never want to get? Um, so what were the symptoms? It was like you would get a cough type of thing. You'd like respiratory mm. problems. You get fevers. Mm -hmm. um, you lose your taste and yeah. your smell. Yeah. Um, I think for me, I don't want to like respiratory problems like t to do with your breathing mm -hmm. that's the scariest thing for me like i had as i don't think i actually had as my sister had asthma as a kid and mm -hmm. i just like got the ventilator in case yeah. and it's just that's too scary for me i could yeah. i could never imagine getting that yeah like you said the other uh, symptoms like the the worst short-term symptom yeah would have been the cough in the the troubles breathing. Trouble, trouble breathing but i heard even some people like they lost their sense of taste and smell for half a year. Yeah, for six months. So that's something that would really like fuck with me. That would be crazy. I couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. And imagine not knowing when you're going to get it back if you're going to get yeah, it back. Yeah. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. Just going like uh, going nose blind for oh like my, oh, for yeah. six oh. months. <laughs> oh my! I, I wouldn't even know how bad my apartment smells. Exactly. It could be a blessing in disguise. It's got. Uh, <laughs> All right. uh, number three, you want to? Yeah. How did you spend your time during self quarantine? If you did it, uh, I did have to do it. Uh, I did it in Korea and I did it in Canada actually. Mm -hmm. um, so Canada, I just stayed inside my parents' house and but I, they they weren't actually monitoring it very well. Like there was just one phone call that, to check up. They didn't. There was a Canadian app, but the app was broken. Oh. But the, like it, it melt it. Like uh, it did like the first six days and then it reset. Oh, my so gosh. It was, it, and like, at the airport, they're even saying, oh, download it to uh, speediate your uh, your quarantine. But the app malfunctioned have six months and reset at uh, six days and reset. That's so bad. Oh, my gosh. So during the time it was. Uh, so I was just like playing video games, watching Netflix. Yeah. 
It's kind of relaxing. Just having delivery. I have, uh, thankfully in Korea, I have some friends that delivered some food for me. Oh, that's that's so nice. Yeah. Did you have to quarantine at all? I did. I did um, two weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, I did in a hotel. So mm -hmm. it was like really, I love hotels. So it was okay. really nice. But again, with the Korean food, um, not my favorite. And yeah. it was super spicy. Mm -hmm. And I could only eat what they gave me. Mm -hmm. And I was like starving yeah. the majority of the time because it was too spicy for me to eat. And I couldn't like do it. Yeah. I heard some people that had to quarantine in hotels had bad experiences. The food was just, you know, the instant food from the store. Yeah. And it was it was always like ice cold. So it was yeah. difficult to eat. Yeah. I, th I think that was me. But yeah. the hotel itself was beautiful. And the like view was like, I could see so much. And I was just like super excited to go mm -hmm. out. So every day I was like kind of like hyping myself up. So mm -hmm. it wasn't super bad, but mm -hmm. could have been better probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, number four. Uh, what is the biggest change caused by COVID-19? Um, like in my life personally or yeah. around the world? Uh, or... Answer it however you want. Mm. Okay, well, the biggest change was definitely, I think, globalization was mm -hmm. it just had to shut down, like travel between countries, mm -hmm. even trade. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people had to like isolate, so jobs were affected right. really, really badly. Like in the beginning, even toilet paper was... Oh uh, my God, yes, I remember the toilet the paper Rationing issue. toilet paper. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I lived on an island mm -hmm. um, of, of, of um, Queensland in Australia. Yeah. And we had to, we were stuck on the island. Mm -hmm. We weren't allowed to go to the mainland. Mm -hmm. And it was so like hard to get like basic things mm -hmm. and stuff. So it just, yeah. The biggest change was like knowing what was going to happen and knowing if we were safe and mm -hmm. like security in job or mm -hmm. security in like yeah that's a, that's a good point yeah like what uh people learned that like now like people can do a lot of their stuff from home mm -hmm. well before covid like it was always you going to the office place exactly. going to like a brick and mortar yeah but yeah now like during the pandemic people had to change their style of work exactly to keep their job yeah and it kind of it's really good the way yeah. that it changed that it, you can do things externally because yeah. life should be more flexible for mm -hmm. people. But um, in the start, when people didn't know how that was going to work. Was... Yeah, it, there's a struggle, but now we found solutions. And like yeah, before that, it was uh, uh, now like Zoom, because even though yeah. we're like vocabularies even changed yeah. too. Yeah, it used to be like FaceTime, but now everyone's like Zoom and Zoom, each is Zoom so meetings. Big. Yeah, uh, for no another change. This is, uh, I actually now know which well, my friends are crazy and which ones are not. Because <laughs> now, because like the friends that, like, on the facts that I know, I have some people that believe the vaccine's fake or, oh, really? and they didn't wow. want to, and they didn't want to download the apps because the, they are afraid the government might it be taking them. Divided people. So, yeah, yeah. They divide, so I have some friends now that, uh, like they don't even use their bank card because they're, they're they're worried that the government's monitoring them. Oh wow! Okay, so they yeah. they just go to their bank, they take out money, yeah, and then they pay for everything in cash so they don't leave a digital footprint. Oh, okay. So the yeah the the pandemic really like yeah so them yeah so it's something like they got really like there was I guess they read yeah conspiracy and, YouTube videos yeah and how their information's being used. That actually that was a really big part. I, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, do you think that delivery platforms will continue to thrive after COVID-19? Oh, that's also something we didn't. Yeah, delivery. Yeah. There's a lot of like uh, like Uber Eats Everything and then, uh, yeah, Coop, uh, what, what's it here? Like Beidal and all like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. like a lot of food is now delivery. Delivered. And the, the price, I don't know if it was because of COVID-19, because I came here during COVID-19, mm -hmm. but the price of delivery is so cheap. Like, yeah. It, I, Continue, yeah. I can't believe, like, I'm just ordering in pretty much every week, like, at least four times. Yeah, well, Never like, do that back. compared, yeah, back home, you have, there's, yeah, delivery charge, and then you also have to tip the delivery person. Oh, we don't have that. Oh. No way. No, <laughs> but we just have really high prices. And, like, right. I think it'll food. still exist. Um, I don't, well, I don't, not as much uh, in North America, mm -hmm. because a lot of the delivery guys drive their personal car. Mm. So, but here, like, the all the deliveries done with... Uh, just on Both bike bikes. for food for yeah on bikes yeah I, I think it's still gonna I mean it's it's a really good like it's a good thing that came out of yeah the uh, pandemic so I yeah. think it's gonna be it's gonna stay like people yeah. now have gotten used to it so mm -hmm. it will I yeah like even cool. like uh, Amazon and in Korea Kupang yeah. those yeah. those places really strive yeah yeah 
Yeah, you know, now they don't. People don't have, feel the need to go to a store to pick up everything. Exactly. They can I think just that's have, good. That's really good. Yeah, convenient. Super convenient here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number six. What is the pros and cons of masks? Back home, we don't have to wear masks at yeah. all. So, um, it's like it's a very um, different like discussion back home. But it's I think masks really help prevent the spread of of COVID nineteen. And so when it was like at the start, mm. not everyone could get COVID nineteen. Otherwise, it would back up the hospitals and stuff yeah. like that. So it was really important that we like slowly let people mm -hmm. like be. Um, like faced with COVID-19 mm -hmm. instead of like everyone at once. Yeah. So masks really help then. And um, the cons, it's just, I don't know, maybe it's uncomfortable to wear a mask, I guess that's. Yeah, uh, like uh, comparing Korea to other, con like Canada, what, uh, people in Canada didn't want to wear a mask. Yeah. So uh, the the restrictions, like the out going outside were much stronger because people didn't want to, uh, cool, uh, didn't want to work together yeah. and yeah, wear a mask to, well, yeah, yeah, in Korea, that everyone was wearing a mask, so business didn't really yeah. shut down that much. I here. salute Korea for that. I yeah. think that was so good. Like the fact that we, like, I mean, back in Australia and stuff, had to have such a big problem with yeah. wearing masks, and yeah. like I know a lot of other countries had that. Yeah, it's so good here yeah. that people were like, yeah, everyone cooperated. That's the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, it's always like, yeah, it was maybe yeah, like ninety eight percent across the board. Everyone yeah. was like, on yes, that's how and we do it. And even now that the mask like mandate has changed yeah people still wear them outside yeah. and like indoors when they don't have to so yeah. um for uh the con for mass uh being in south korea i the, all the masks were actually a little too small for me oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh especially now i had a beard so yeah. i actually would actually only uh have it like uh two-thirds open mm. so i didn't have the chin always it just covered my mouth yeah and, sorry i just heard covered my mouth and my nose yeah. but i could but even that, like, if I could just, if I yawn too, the the mask would just pop off my nose. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's a different structure of our face. So there wasn't the the, the universal mask. Little one little like free size mask is not does yeah. not fit, I guess, my, our Western faces. But then I guess if they wore our mask, probably like full right off. Yeah, their yeah, like yeah, like it's, too it's, big for them. So. Yeah, like uh, I I know a lot. I saw like a lot of it's like it looks almost like a duck bill, uh, sideways duck yeah, bill. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the that's the Western style yeah. that fit everyone. Everyone wore that one. Yeah. Good. Do you want to do? Number seven? Yeah. What would you do first if you could go back in time to when coronavirus never existed? Okay, so let's, that would be like 2019. Yeah. Let's say that. End 2000, of 2019. Yeah, because yeah, it just started to kick off in the uh, yeah. 2020. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, uh, like I think it was still in Wuhan, like in the yeah. December of that time. Um, what would I do if I could go back? I would, hmm. You know what? I might have got Bitcoin or something oh, like that. So nothing to do with Yeah. No, well, it's, if I could go take a time machine to that point, what would I do at that time? Yeah, it was like, on, uh, just like because people are going to be on the Internet. So, yeah, I would invest in some digital currency just for the first year and a half. You would make a lot of money. Because, yeah, that. make the money. I, I, I knew about Bitcoin when it was like two, three dollars a coin. Oh. And I didn't, the person that was telling me about it is like, this is going to be the new thing. And I didn't believe him. Because there's always the new thing. So yeah. you never know who to believe yeah. when they say that. Yeah, the person just wasn't explaining it well. Oh, that's the difference uh, between. <laughs> how about you? If you could go back to time when coronavirus never existed. What would I do? Um, honestly, I don't. Need, I don't feel a need to do any like traveling now is open, mm -hmm. so I can travel now anyway. Yeah. Um, there's not really anything I feel like. Uh, I hear something I would have done. Mm -hmm. Not have renewed my gym membership. Oh. Because like I I I paid like four hundred dollars for a year uh, a subscription oh, to my, no. and then oh. they closed, oh, no. and then they, they never. They didn't give you your money back for that. Oh no! They closed for a month, and then they said, "Oh, sorry, we're going to we're going to take this opportunity to renovate." And then they just went bankrupt, and they didn't give me my money back. <laughs> so I lost four hundred dollars. I lost uh, my my training shoes, my and my my some of my workout clothes. You would call them kit or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So you I train, yeah. yeah I wouldn't I would have quit the, my gym. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think I have anything like that to be honest. Yeah. 
But yeah, Bitcoin probably Bitcoin, before you purchase yeah, it's, it. <laughs> Bitcoin, I would have made more, saved some money by not going to the gym, <laughs> and, and probably well, made money by, by investing online. Made a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, number nine. Uh, well, no, well, it's uh, on the sheet. It says nine. This is number eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no number eight, but okay. Which do you prefer, online learning and working from home, or face-to-face -face learning and meeting? I ended my university degree online learning. Yeah. And then I did some online learning here. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. That's really not like I. I'm not like. I'm not paying attention mm -hmm. enough and it's just, I can't mm -hmm. really understand mm -hmm. through a screen. Mm -hmm. So definitely I'm a face-to-face -face learner. Mm -hmm. And I think actually that was a big thing that mm -hmm. uh, if I, if I could go back, I would just like really go to university more. Yeah. <laughs> than I, I did. Yeah. I'm a face-to-face kind of like, yeah, I have, I can't f understand something through theory alone. No. Yeah. But I have to, I, I have to be a hands-on experience exactly. it with my own eyes. And if someone says something through a screen, mm -hmm. like, it just doesn't compute mm -hmm. compared to if someone says it like talking to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Like I even have nieces and nephews and I think actually like it, like them like yeah. studying online, and it really affected their learning. The They're behind. The social aspect as well. That's yeah, really I, I could, get, I could see a comparison of like yeah. st how stuff worked. Yeah. Okay, uh, and do you want to do the final one? What should we do to prevent the spread of the pandemic? Uh, well, we have to be clean. We have to be, you know, social distance ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. I think we have to work together. Yeah, and cooperation. I think cooperation is really big. And, like, I know people will have different opinions on different things, but I think, like, safety and health, like, really should mm -hmm. come first, and that's, like, a big... Thing that we should all mm -hmm. try to agree on at least mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. certain plans to not let the spread be as crazy as right like right there's the uh, the like uh, fail to plan and plan to fail yeah I, I learned this from my also my Aussie friend like the seven P's the seven P's yeah so it's uh, seven P's whenever something didn't go right because there was no le planning. Mm -hmm. He was like on seven P's, mate. And it's prior planning and prevention to prevent piss poor performance. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so yeah, so it's, yeah, I would, yeah, like you said, yeah, preparation, being yeah. aware. Like right now, there's even the, uh, the drama, The Last of Us, too. And it's like about like a zombie outbreak that like okay. fungus, and but like they just didn't prepare and yeah. they weren't ready for it. Yeah. And I mean, then when it hit, when it, it happened, it just exploded because there was no way to secure it. There's no uh, regulation. In place, yeah. yeah. I, that's kind of a bit what happened with COVID, I yeah. think. It's like we just could have, like some countries just mm -hmm. proved like planning was really detrimental mm -hmm. to how them compared to other countries that didn't yeah, plan like, as well. Yeah. Like also about like, uh, like be, being aware, like actually visibility of it too, yeah. because there were also deniers and then, that, yeah, that denying something does not help something that be prevented. That makes it so much worse. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like childish behavior. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's our topics for today. We were looking at the pandemic. Hope it didn't trigger anyone out there. Um, if you have further questions about Colcom, you can visit their website at colcom.co.kr. All right. I've been Jeff. And I've been Lara. Bye-bye.